And now let's talk about the color schemes and color fill legend. I will use this on the smaller subset so you will be better able to see it. So the color fill legend can be found here under the annotate tab, color fill, color fill legend. I can go and place it in my view and go with the rooms and I will go for now with none. So you can see this is my colorful legend and it's saying me that no color scheme was assigned to this view. Now there are two ways how you can create a new color scheme. You can either like get the colorful legend and go to edit scheme and you will get the dialogue. Or if you go to architecture, room and area, here the color schemes is the same dialogue. So now we will choose that we want to create it from rooms. And we have some name and department here. Let's create another one and we will create a new one for the floor finishes. Okay, so this is the name of the color scheme. Now we will get the name or the title for this colorful legend. So it will be floor finishes. And now we will choose the parameter from which it will get the values for us. So this way it will be, or in this example, it will be floor finish. The okay. Now we can see that there are no values in here. So let's just leave it like this for the moment. So we have here a colorful legend. And let's just now place this to be floor finishes. Okay. And now you can see I have my title floor finishes and no colors are defined because there are no values. So let's just now go in this example with my floor finish here. And let's play it here or let's put here ceramic tile. And now you can see that it is automatically calculating the value or the color for this value and it is like showing it to me that this room is ceramic tile. If I go here and I go with my, let's say wood, now we can see that this one is wood. If I go with this one and let's go with floor finish, I don't know, carpet and this one also carpet. So you can see that it created the colorful legend for the different values of the floor finish para parameters in the rooms for me. So this is super useful when you are doing some presentations or some presentation materials for investors or just for yourself to be better able to visually control or to visually check the things in the projects if the parameters have correct values. I will change these colors for you to be better able to see it. So let's place it like green one, blue one, and I don't know, orange one. So you can see I have my carpet, ceramic tile and wood. And I could go with all of these and it would just create the color fill for me. So this is useful for graphically distinguish different values of parameters or properties of rooms. So now then some things you can, you can do like how you can customize this even more is that if you go to the color fill legend, to the edit type, here are the text and fonts of this. And what is really important is this one, switch width and switch height that the switch is this thing here, this square, and you can customize it to be, let's say 15 to 7.5. You apply and now you can see that I have customized the colorful legend a little bit. And the next amazing thing is that I will create for you a new entry here. And let's go with the polyvinyl chloride, hit OK. 
and I will not use this entry but it will be defined so if I go here in the rooms to my floor finish drop down you can see that I have the polyvinyl fluoride here but it is not actually used in the project so the setting here in the color of legend this one values displayed now it is set to be by view so it is only showing me the things or the values which I can see in my view so if it would be cropped I would not see them it would be not included and if I go with the all in the apply now you can see that in the colorful legend here I can see the entry for the polyvinyl chloride even though it is not defined in the project and I cannot see it in this view so this is really important setting for the colorful legends okay the next important thing for the schemes is that here if you have multiple entries you can have like 50 plus entries or more and that is a lot of them this thing is pretty useful which is telling you that if it is if this entry is in use in the project or not me personally i like to go and if i know that it will not be used anymore i will just delete it and this way i will clean it and make it a little bit more organized to work with so i can go to my pvc hit delete remove this color scheme entry okay and now it will not be even in this drop down here to select from the next important thing to know with these color schemes is that here are the parameters you can also use your custom created shared parameters so you can actually use this tool pretty nice and me personally i use it a lot in my projects because it is helping really nicely next thing or also next use case which we can see with the color schemes and color fill legends will be let's go with the areas and i will show you the difference between the color fill legend by value and by range so if i go with my areas let's go with the title areas and it will take the values from the area okay so now you can see it automatically created the values which are now just by the value so these are all different values of the area of the rooms which i have in my project if i hit ok you can see this calculating and it created something like this so based on the meter squared on the area it created me the color fill now what you can do here is to use a by range function and you can edit the format as well so i will go with the use project settings uncheck it and let's go with square meters to two decimal places okay and now i can create new entries here which will be let's say So this one is less than 50 and this one is 50 or more. If I add a new one and let's go with 150. So you can see that I have one entry which is less than 50 meters squared, another one which is 50 to 150 meters squared and the last one which is 150 or more. I will again change the values for you to be better able to see it. Let's go something like this. And I will create this a red one. Hit OK. It's calculating and now you can see that less than 50 meters squared is red, 50 to 150 is blue and this one is purple. So you can see it created something like this. And let's say, OK, this is too many reds in here so i will change this to be 20. okay and now let's create this smaller one okay so 
you have something like this, which is by range, and you can actually use this pretty nicely for the check of the things in your Revit project. So let's imagine that you have some limitation for the area of the rooms that it has to be at least 20 meters squared. So if it is less than 20 meters squared, it is bad. And this way, by using the colorful legend, you can quickly find the rooms which are less than 20 meters squared. And you can just check visually that if it is good, okay, the balcony is not like important for us, but this one is important and it should be 20 meters. So I can correct this value and correct this room. Okay, now it is good. So this is another use case. And with the range values, it is pretty nice to use the colorful legends in your project. The next thing is the color scheme location parameter and what this means is that if you have let's say furniture here some desk you can see that when i place it the color of fill legend or the color of fill for the room is now in the background and is not obscuring me the elements which i placed this is actually the setting of the view now in my floor plan view i have my color scheme location which is set to background now if i change it to foreground you can see that now it is obscuring the elements in the background it is not obscuring the elements and the last thing with the color schemes is that how you can remove them so if i go and delete this one it's still there it like remains there it doesn't delete the color scheme so if i need to remove it from the view i can use two ways and the one is to select the colorful legend go to edit scheme and press none this way i have removed it from this view or the next one is to go to the setting of the view Here under color scheme you have now areas defined if you go here select none and now again you have removed the color scheme from this view